Hello there. Welcome back once again. And this time, as you can see on your screen, we are going to explore a topic called as open collector or open drain. In the context of BJT, we would call it as open collector. And in the context of MOSFET, we would call it as uh, open drain. So first thing first, to the left side, as you can see a schematic where we see a BJT. This is an uh, internal portion of the integrated circuit. So to the left side, as shown by the dotted lines here, is an IC, integrated circuit, and there comes an output pin of the IC that is called as IC output. And this IC output is going as an input to the base pin of the transistor. So here is a collector pin, here is a base pin, and here is an emitter pin of the transistor. What is to be noted here is that this is an NPN transistor as indicated by direction of a current flow. And uh, this transistor is inside the IC. That's why we say internal to the IC. And then this is the external side of the IC. So you can see uh, there is a connection coming out of the IC which is a collector of the transistor and it is not tied. It is open and not tied to any other pin or any other voltage level. That is why we would call it as open collector. There is the IC ground and to the same IC ground, we see the emitter pin of the transistor is connected. So emitter, of the transistor and the IC ground are same. Emitter is connected to the ground and that ground is nothing but IC ground. Now, when there are two situations, when the transistor is switched on and the transistor is switched off. So how do we distinguish this? So when say there is a logic one, because now this is an IC output and we would say there is a logic one on the base that turns on the transistor, transistor is saturated, there is a, a current flow from the collector pin of the transistor to the emitter pin of the transistor, neglecting the base current contribution here. So how do we show that? So what we uh, do here is that, let me draw here. We basically connect a register here. And through this register R, there is this positive voltage supply or a simply say a voltage supply. So when the transistor is on, there is a current flow from this positive supply through the resistor R, through the collector pin and through the emitter pin of the transistor. So now your collector pin, which was open earlier, is no longer, uh, let us say, called as open collector because we have this resistor R placed. If there is no such arrangement, you know, as in the previous case, we term this concept or uh, called as open collector. How about when there is a logic zero appears here? So it means transistor is switched off. It is in cutoff region. There is a no current flow from collector to emitter. So in that case, this collector pin of the transistor is tied to this high voltage level through the register R. So there is a logic one coming right over here at the collector pin. When there is a logic zero here, logic one 
appears at the collector pin when there is a logic one here uh, logic zero appears at the collector pin why because when there is a logic one transistor is on there is a current flow uh, like this and collector is actually at the same level uh, of the emitter voltage level the emitter is tied to the ground okay uh, considering there is a very large voltage drop uh, due to the current flow uh, through the resistor r and then only due to the large voltage drop across the resistor the voltage at the collector is nearly equal to the voltage at the emitter when the transistor is on that's why we call it however if there is no resistor involved in the circuit your collector is uh, floating so it's a kind of uh, this is not tied to any voltage level so kind of high impedance state let us now have understanding to the right side of the figure again here you see the same schematic there is this dotted line showing internal to the IC. The only difference between the left side of the figure and the right side of the figure is that the transistor here in this part is a MOS transistor. So MOSFET, it is an, an MOS transistor as shown by the direction of the arrow. There are three pins, drain, gate, source. Source is tied to the ground. This is obviously IC ground similar to this concept. The drain is as indicated by the green line is coming out of the IC. And if it is not tied to this five volt through the three kilo ohm resistors, then we would call it as an open drain output. However, for uh, understanding, we have tied it to the five volt supply through this three kilo ohm resistance. Now, let's say there is a logic low or logic zero means low level uh, is applied to the gate pin of the IC transistor is uh, in is in off mode. So when it is in off mode, there is no current flow from drain to the source, and we would uh, see that if this through this resistor drain is tied to the five volt, so. In uh, logic terms, we would say the logic high appears at the drain pin. However, let us say there is a high logic level here. Switching the transistor from off to on position that starts the transistor drawing current through the resistor from drain to the source to the ground. So you can then say that uh, drain uh, considering the current flow through the resistor is high enough causing a large voltage drop across the resistor making the voltage at the drain or the logic level at the drain nearly equal to the logic level at source which is at the low so logic low appears here when there is a logic high at the gate so that's the concept of open drain output again if you don't involve resistor in the circuit and the transistor is uh, switched on then uh, you are uh, you do, you don't really uh, have a resistor here so it remains floating you need to tie it to the some voltage level either low or high or any low voltage level and then therefore you need a resistor here and you need a register here. So that's the concept of open collector and the open drain output or open collector output. There are some applications. We would see that some of the time. So hope you found this model useful. If you did so, share it with others for a wider range. And stay tuned for more engaging content like this. And till then, wish you a happy learning.